biases ang 12 cranial nerves. First is olfactory. So, ang ina natin dito ay ang sense of smell ng patient. Make sure na walang rash or any deformities sa area ng nose ng patient. Then, kuha lang tayo ng mga available na samples na pwede natin ipasmell sa patient na like vinegar, perfume, orange, coffee, yun, yung mga samples na yun. I-ask nyo na i-close nila yung eyes nila, tapos ipasmell nyo yung mga samples. Identify nyo sa kanila kung ano yung sample na pinapasmell nyo. Kung hindi nila ma-identify yung sample, maybe meron silang upper respiratory infection, baka may sipon sila, congested sila, may runny nose. So, next is optic or yung vision natin. So, ang ina natin of course dito is yung vision ng patient. Make sure na walang swelling or any redness or yellowish or jaundice yung sclera or any pus kasi it could indicate na may infection na nangyari dun sa around the eye area. So, pwede natin itest ang optic nerve through visual acuity, visual field, and color blindness test. So, ang visual acuity, guys, gagamit tayo ng Snellen's chart. So, i-ask nyo yung patient nyo to stand 20 feet or 6 meters away from the chart and preferably not wearing any contact lenses o kaya prescription glasses kasi yun nga yung ina-identify natin kung kailangan ba nila ng glasses or kung kailangan ba nila ng contact lenses. So, ask nyo na i-cover nila yung one eye and have them read line number 8, 2020. So, letters yung nasa left and numbers yung right. Cover yung one eye, have them read it. After that, cover the other eye, tas ipa-read nyo ulit. Tapos ipa-read nyo ng sabay, of course, na naka-open yung mata nila to identify kung kaya nilang i-read yung line number 8, which is 2020. If not, you can go higher. So, as you go up higher, nagiging bigger din yung letters. So, baka mas kaya nilang i-read yun. Natin ma-identify kung kailangan ba nila ng glasses o kaya contact lenses. Color blindness test naman, guys. Kailangan natin ng Ishihara color blindness na book. So, 14 plates yung nandun. If flash nyo lang sa patient kung... Ano yung numbers na nandun, kailangan nila ma-identify. Meron din yung blank, so kailangan nila masabing walang number. And meron din two plates dun sa book na yun na kailangan nilang i-trace. Visual field ng patient, ipa-cover nyo yung one eye nila. Tapos, pwede nyo i-wiggle, i-wiggle yung one hand. Or pwede kayong maglagay ng numbers dito, i-identify nila. And then sa baba, pwede nyo i-wiggle yung one hand and then maglagay ng numbers. And then, kailangan nila identify. And then, do it with the other eye as well. Pwede rin yung nurse nakastand dun sa likod ng patient, tapos yung patient nakas, um, tingin straight directly, tapos idadaan ng nurse yung finger niya from here, tapos i-identify ng patient. Kung... point niya lang kung kailan niya makikita yung finger ng nurse. So, para matest yung visual reflexes ng patient natin, i-ask natin na tumingin yung patient sa isang malayong object at i-dim natin yung light. Kailangan nilang tumingin sa distant or malayong object para mag-dilate yung eye nila. Walang tayo ng pen light, tapos isa-shine natin dun sa eye ng patient. Like for example, may pen light ako, isa-shine ko siya sa right eye ko, tapos pag nag-constrict yung right eye ko, it's called direct response. And then for example, again, shine ko yung pen light sa right eye ko, nag-constrict yung right eye ko, and then simultaneously nag-constrict yung left eye ko, that's called consensual response. Pag hindi nag-constrict yung eye ng patient, it means may damage dun sa oculomotor nerve ng patient. Para i-test naman yung trochlear nerve ng patient, kuha ka lang ng pen or any object, preferably pen or pen light, tapunta nyo siya directly dun sa nose, ganyan. Dapat yung patient, both eyes naka-directly na nakatingin dito sa nose niya. Otherwise, look for nystagmus o kaya yung shaking ng eye movement or yung nerve palsy. It means yung isang mata niya is nakatingin directly and then yung isa is upward side ng eye nila. So, that's called nerve palsy. Number five is yung trigeminal nerve. So, ang tinitest natin dito is yung masseter dito. And then, yung sa temporal nerve natin dito. So, i-ask nyo na i-open yung mouth ng patient and pwedeng i- parang i-resist nila yung hand nyo. Check naman yung abducens nerve ng patient. Kuha ka lang din ng pen, tas ganyan. Tapos, gawa ka ng letter H and tell them to follow yung pen na yon without moving their head. So, nakasteady lang yung head nila, yung eyes lang nila yung nagmumove. So, letter H, syempre dahan-dahan lang, di ba? Paano hindi naman sumakit yung mata ng patient pa ganyan, tas pataas, balik, tas baba, ganyan. So, letter H lang siya. Kapag ginagawa po natin yung abducens nerve test, kailangan yung observe pa rin natin yung patient if may shaking ba dun sa eye movement niya or like what we call nystagmus. So, number 7 is yung facial nerve. So, i-ask nyo yung patient na mag-clench like that, mag-smile, mag-frown, mag-pop yung cheeks. 
Number eight is auditory or vestibular cochlear nerve. So, ang tinitest nito is your hearing and balance. Yung nurse pupunta lang sa likod, i-ask mo dun sa patient to cover one side of the ear. Tapos, mag-whisper yung nurse ng words, tapos i-repeat ng patient, tapos i-repeat din sa kabilang side ng ear ng patient natin. Matest yung glossopharyngeal nerve natin, kailangan natin ng popsicle stick, tapos i-ask nyo yung patient to open their mouth, tapos makikita nyo yung uvula, it should move up and down, yung para siyang nakaganon. Yun. And then, para matest naman yung gag reflex ng patient natin, i-poke lang ng konti yung side of the throat. Huwag lang namang masyadong malalim. Hindi naman masyadong maduwal yung patient natin. Nerve number 10, which is vagus nerve, yung ability to swallow and ability to talk. So, pag nakikita nyo na ikipag-communicate naman sa nyo yung patient and pag na-observe nyo na nagsaswallow siya, that is your way to test your vagus nerve. Number 11 is accessory. And para matest yan, i-ask nyo yung patient to move their head side to side like that. And then up and down. Tapos ishrug yung shoulder. Pwede rin ilagay ng nurse yung kamay niya dito sa shoulder ng patient and i-resist ng patient yung kamay ng nurse. Last but not the least is the hypoglossal nerve. So i-ask nyo yung patient na ilabas nila yung bila nila, i-move nila from side to side and up and down. So yan guys, that's how you test yung 12 cranial nerves natin. And sana may natutunan kayo sa video na to. I hope na nag-enjoy kayo dito sa video na to guys. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell para ma-update kayo pag may bago akong videos. I will see you guys on my next one. Thank you!